So now the question is, how does a frost event cause the kind of damage that we saw in the plant? And this little schematic walks you through our logical process. We can't discount the fact that the plants w could have been disadvantaged because of the drying trend. So even though they showed no evidence of being stressed, you can't ignore that because plants do suffer from water stress, especially plants that are used to living in a wet, cloud-bathed environment. But what it turns out with this plant that's critical is, and with many of these kind of plants, is you need a trigger. And once that trigger initiates a little bit of death, then things start to snowball. And we think that's what happened. Because this plant is so reliant on this tightly packed foliage that stems from a little branch and then a little cluster of leaves and a branch next to it with a cluster of leaves and so forth all the way around, when a couple of leaves or a little area gets badly damaged, that opens up the whole cushion to major evaporative losses. And so the humic material inside the cushion will quickly dry out if there are sunny, dry days, which are starting to occur more frequently. And when that happens, the little adventitious roots can't do their thing. And if the, the little spines that are sticking out, if there's not enough cloud, the plant can't get enough carbon. And so you, the plant cannot close that hole. And then it goes into winter, and if there's enough um, damage, the little meristems will not recover at all. So next year when it comes out of its dormancy there'll be that hole and now the new little leaves around it don't have their um, advantage of protection from leaves that would have been there so they're more exposed to the weather and slowly the plant becomes more and more stressed and eventually it dies. We think that we have found the trigger. Once we, once the species, ha or once individual cushions had a part of the cushion surface killed, and if that death was big enough and severe enough, then the cushion couldn't recover. And so by the time it got to 2010, the cushion had shown such severe decline that it had died. Um, and uh, the plant is becoming dist extinct. We went and looked in the data, and similar frost events have since occurred. The last one is, was in 2013. Post-2013, we haven't had unseasonal frosts of such magnitude in, in spring, um, and we are starting to see regrowth, but it's not cushions, it's not damaged cushions healing themselves. It is completely new um, growths, some of which are occurring on old cushion sites, but the point is that the cushions that are damaged to the point of no return will die at some point. But it is nice to know that little cushions are coming back.